jazzy. Look. I think that's really cool. Isn't what do you reckon? It's so nice. Yeah. Oh my god. This is like my dream Christmas Eve casual New Year's Eve outfit. Oh, you're asking me. <laughs> so, I thought you were talking on the phone. I am well tired as per usual, oh, but I'm okay. No, it's just getting worse. Work hero, woke up at one in the morning and didn't go to sleep again until five. You're right now, come on. And then we're gonna have to get a bit more aggressive because we are being a bit too hippie love love. I was sitting there thinking like, what would Georgie do? She would not put up with the shit. <laughs> anyway, we'll figure it out. Shut the door, you train like a dog. I, I can't, I haven't got it in me. How many marks is here? Five. Yeah. Half. No, time to come right. I knew you'd be like this. Yeah, I know. I knew I'd be You're like this too. You're a great big sock. But I own it though. I'm a sock. <laughs> I'm a sock. Okay. How was your weekend? It was good, thanks. What did you get up to? Christmas party on Friday night. Saw some family. Ferried my children back and forth from various parties, clubs, that kind of thing. Living the dream. Did a 45 minutes spin class. I did one rebel this morning. 45 minutes, quite tough. Which train did you go with? I was literally dripping. I can't remember her name. She was good though. You're ready to fight the day. I feel good. I feel good. What's this? Uber's been stripped of its license. Uber is not going to go out of action. Everyone needs to calm down. What are we doing today? I'm talking at a Savills event tonight. I'm on a panel with the founder of Desiem, who own the Ordinary and various other beauty brands. I met her. Apparently, she's quite an impressive lady, as you'd expect. Her, me, someone else, maybe someone else. We'll find out when we get there. We've also got Harriet starting today. She's going to be writing. I think she's editor, which is great. We've been waiting for her for a long time. She had a three month notice period to work. Felt like she was never going to come. Anyway, day has finally arrived. Here she is. She's super smart. She's going to be writing about finance, women, and careers, and lots of great stuff. We're about to have a brainstorm to thrash it out. And then we've got the commercial team over here. So we've got Sam. Hi. 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 Jess. Hello. I'm Harriet Russell. How long have you worked at Sherlock? About 30. No, not even 28 minutes. How are you finding it so far? So far, so good. What are you here to do? She Lux's new features editor and sub editor. It basically means that I oversee all of the copy that we do, make sure it's accurate, make sure it's sheer Lux style. But yes, I am about to go and see Georgie, so we'll find out more. What's your favourite thing about your job? All the people you get to meet, all the topics you get to explore. In my last job, it was all businessy, so I met some amazing CEOs. What's your favourite food? Pizza. What's your favourite place to go on a city break? Guilty <laughs> Pleasure TV show. Friends. Classic. What's your favourite friend cast member? This is a surprise to many, but it's probably David Schwimmer. Yes, he's my favourite. He's the best actor, I think. He's the best actor. One item for winter 2019, what is it? Leather pants. From everybody here at behind the scenes, it's just me. <laughs> I'd like to welcome you to Shellux. Thank you very much. Hello, hello, come hello. in. Nice to see I you, know, welcome, you. sit down. I'm thrilled you've started a week early. I know, me too. And you've met everybody, you got anything to work on at the moment? Not specifically, they've given me a couple of things to look at in the calendar. Start getting your creative juices <laughs> going. We might start with the papers, that might help us brainstorm a little bit. A bit embarrassing, I might be in there. If they're from the Sunday. What's the last piece you wrote? I had a 1400 word feature in the Sunday Telegraph. Did you? Oh, amazing, what was it about? KPMG. Is that KPMG? Not anything good. Prince Andrew scandal. Yeah. First sponsor to yeah, they did. yank their support. I think you may be correct about Uber. Yeah, Uber's great. Can we turn it around? Tomorrow, do you think? Absolutely. Uber is not going. Let's all just remain calm. I, I took one here this morning. <laughs> Uber's fine. They're not going anywhere. People like to panic, don't they? It's a bit like the eclipse. My mother's stocking up on long life milk and baked beans. <laughs> It'll all be all right. <laughs> That's not a joke, by the way. Oh, hilarious. Same with the millennium. I love it. Millennium in the eclipse. Darling, you never We're know. Still here. You not? My mum stockpiles every time it snows. Does she? Yeah. She yeah. lives in Scotland or something. No, no, no. She lives in Godalming. <laughs> you never know. Very nice part of the world. It is. Lacking in supermarkets. Start jotting down some ideas. I will. Think careers, lifestyle. Bad. So let's check we've got some papers to come through. Yeah, hello. Do you have any papers from the weekend? I went there this morning when he's going to bring them. Just before this day. They're coming. They're coming. I mean, as is Christmas. Are they coming this before morning? delivered them yeah. by the day. He did. Perfect. How did that go? Oh, she's been Harriet, I'm thrilled she's here. I've got a good vibe about this yeah, one. Yeah, she's cool. She's smart. She seems very competent. I like her. She's going to add something new and fresh to the mix, so yeah. It's good. Oh my god, I really want her. Polly, what you got? I've got some very loud trousers, which I am quite scared of, but the girls think are really cool. Do you like that? They're amazing. What a cool way to dress up a black jumper. Or like a black body. Amazing. You like it, Lou? Love, 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 love. What's the price point? No, I like them. £35. £35. Pounds. Thanks so much, very. I can't wait to wear them. They're so cool. Updated and up to my Christmas party outfit game. Hey Harriet, Thank how you. long have you worked for Sherlock? Five hours. Which hour was your favourite? The meeting with Georgie went really well, lots of ideas. What are you going to be writing about? Health and wellness, money, so all sorts. What topic are you most excited about? A piece about the election, we're hoping to break it down for everyone. If you could sum up your whole day in one sentence. A bit overwhelming, lots to take in. But have you had fun? Yeah, it's good. Well, congratulations on your first day. Thanks. See you later. See ya. Hey G, where are we going now? How are you? 
Busy day. Are you tired? No, I'm not tired. I'm just so you feel like I've literally not drawn breath all day. To ham yard for a meeting with this prison charity. And then I'm speaking on the Savile's panel. Well, good luck. Oh, is it raining? Bye, Polly. Hi there. Georgie. I've got a meeting with a charity called Key for Life. It helps ex-offenders with their rehabilitation. They do quite a lot of work in prison. And then they do quite a lot of work with ex-offenders. They match ex-offenders with a mentor to help them plot their next step, try and prevent them from re-offending, help them get back into work. So What's drawn you to the prison service? I've always felt quite frustrated by the re-offending rate in this country. Now I've come across this charity, I'd quite like to get involved. Really nice guys who've had really tough starts in life. What struck me is that all their stories were pretty much the same. They want to be there, they want to change. I'm hoping that I might be able to help in some way. And then I'm joining a panel member Savills. I haven't actually looked at the questions I'm being asked this evening. But luckily there are six people on the panel, so I don't think I'm gonna get much airtime. Suits me just fine. Do you know what the topics we're gonna cover are? The state of the retail climate in the UK right now. It's freaking tough out there right now. I reckon that's gonna be the general theme. I'm on a panel with the CEO of Desia, founders of the ordinary, Higher Street, which is a higher company, Palmer, a fashion brand, the strain, something called New Estate Company, I don't know what that is. I'll find out more when we get there. Hello, um Khadija. Murchison and I'm the Employability and Corporate Manager at Keith Life. I've always been quite interested in the prison service. We work with ex-offenders, young people at risk of going to prison and young men in prison, ages between 18 and 30. When I was 18 I actually sent off for the grand training scheme. It's quite weird given that I work in fashion and beauty <laughs> yeah. stuff, but I've always had this split. What we're trying to do is help these young men get into employment. Keith for Life are a rehabilitation charity. We have a seven step model. It's all about helping the young men unlock their emotions. We use horses, equine therapy learning. Horses? Horses. Exactly. When the young men have experiences of maybe a drug dealing past or negative influence growing up, they have a lot of demons in them. The horses really help mirror that energy, guide them into getting more positive throughout the journey. What areas interest you? Is it catering? You know, we work with gyms, restaurants, fashion, beauty, quite a big pool. What would be so helpful is for you to say these guys have got quite a clear idea of what they want to do. Each young man is assigned a mentor, usually from a corporate background, helping them with CVs, employability. Really just is about supporting the young man as much as possible. First of all, they go to a residential trying to find out what the issues are with them. So you actually came to this one here. Keep Alive, we're based on three core principles. Employability, ongoing support, emotional resilience. A lot of these young men have PTSD, traumas from when they were younger. Over 70% of our young men who go through the programme actually don't have a father figure. Never maybe have the opportunity to go into employment, meet people that can help change their lives. That's where Keep Alive fits in. We started off chatting because he was like, I've got women troubles, like, can uh, I help? And then I was like, no, no, seriously, have you got, like, females? Yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I felt like you could really tell that he had close friendships with women and you had that warm to him. The offending rate in the first year it's around 17% when you go through our program. 17? Yeah. The national average is about 60 to 70%. I mean that's a big um, difference. Super big difference. Bye Khadija. And that's why we're so passionate about the work that we do. The results are real. 70 to 80% of our young men go into permanent employment. Even if they've been through the program two years ago we still will support them today. How did that go? Good. I think it's amazing what they're doing. I really hope that we can help find some guys, some work placement, do a bit of PR, raise the profile of what I think is a brilliant charity. What are we going to do now? We're going to go to the Savile's event. It's a bit late. Have you met anyone yet? No. Elena. Lovely to meet you. How are you? What time does it start? I will ask for people to be from here from 6.30. Sitting down for the panel discussion at 7.30. Oh, we're early. Georgie, what's happening now? Now we've got about an hour and a half until the panel session. It's not like my timings are off. Actually, it means I can do some work. Hi there. Can we have two glasses of the... The widow. The yeah, wait, of course. Wait, I'll wait you up. Well, I could do something while waiting, hey? <laughs> Delish. Monday oh, after all. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Good evening. Thank you so much for attending this evening. We're delighted to see so many of you out for the launch of the fifth edition of Open Magazine. We're also delighted to have so many amazing speakers who are going to join us on a panel discussion. Nicola, Desium have been involved since their inception in completely innovating and changing the industry. The Desium's success was actually perseverance, cute <laughs> trend, because we had 10 brands we created before the order. And Georgie, starting an online magazine in an era where lots of print magazines were going under is completely innovative. For us, it wasn't the decline of print, it was the, the birth of digital, the growth of digital. How has tech massively changed your business? We don't call ourselves a tech company. We wanted to try and create the perfect hoodie. It's a bit of a passion project for us. Offer a 23% discount across all SKUs. There's obvious occasions that it makes sense to rent as opposed to buy. The consumer is changing massively. We have 200 million of them a year. And we used to have the Zara's and Top Shops of the world, but actually we found that the demand was much more higher end. It's very easy, I think, to sort of try and do everything and please everyone. Thank you to all of our panelists for being on the panel today.
pretty Absolutely. dress. Oh, thank you. Where's your dress from? It's from Rotate. Ah, Rotate. Oh, big Rotate fans. Yeah. Big Rotate fans. I've yeah. seen that one. And, like cool. I bought it from Netta Porter and it didn't look so good on the website. They're yeah. good at their sleeves, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, great that's sleeves. Like Rotate look great and sleeves. It's got, like four more, but it's got the back look. Ah, <laughs> great. Oh, is that really that taxi? How did that go? It was good. It was a good chat. It made me focus my mind on a Monday night. I'm ready to go home. It's been a very long day. I was very grateful to Savills for asking me. Well, I've now got rather a lot of work to do, so I shall see you tomorrow. Bye, Georgie. Bye. Can I get a one's worth, please? How are you doing? Okay. Good, how are you? It's not warm. Oh, look, do the one show outside sometimes. Well, where's this from? Joseph, this is my new baby. Nice. When you ask me what I wanted for Christmas, this is my real Christmas present. Charlotte Lake, Collins, what are you wearing today? A new shilling coat by Joseph. Uh, Louis V bag, C by Chloe, uh, Ballard. What is it called? Tabard. Tabard. Ballard. JG Ballard. JG Ballard. Oh, it's Joseph's shirt as well, actually. Top top jeans. The boots? Stuart White's been done. This is going to be fun, right? It's going to be fun. Where are we today? We are outside the BBC. W1A. I'm going to be appearing on the Joe Good Show. And what are you going to be talking about? Winter fashion, <laughs> festive fashion. What to buy now, where you should be buying. Your coats, your boots, your sparkly stuff, everything related to the season, fashion wise. This is my third appearance. Should we get going? Let's get going. No, I'm not allowed to film in here, so I'm going to turn off. Okay. Bye, Charlotte. Hi. Where are we now, Charlotte? We are now in the BBC, in the heart of the BBC. I'm going to take a photo of <laughs> <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, wait. What prep have you done for this interview? I was asked to send across some points to talk about. Joe tends to do things in an ad hoc way. I mind blank on brand names. Oh, Zara. Ooh. So I tried to like note down some good brands, what brands are good for. That's kind of it. Time of year, like, dictates what brands you're into. M&S, time of year, amazing cashmere. Same for Uniqlo. Warehouse right now. Killing it on the party wear. If Zara is a bit too out there for you. Zara stuff is amazing, but it's like very 80s. Some rogue 80s stuff in Zara. Weird yes. matador type thing. Caping, shoulder, massive bows. That's not for everybody. Yeah. Warehouse is the place to go if you want hair back, but still like an evening vibe. I just want to listen to her. The voice of Joe But I was frozen because how do you look trendy? Is that aging? I've been told not to use groovy, I mustn't use trendy. How do I look sick <laughs> out of the seat? <laughs> Amy's now fallen off her chair. How do I look sick and yet I'm still warm? Well, the person that will know is Charlotte Collins. She, she will know. She will be in straight after. I promise that you'll never find her. Hello. 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 Can I show you? I'm good, thank you. Yes. Yes. Show you through. Here she is. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Rich. Hello. So Hello. good to see you. And Rich, you want me to turn this music down? Maybe a little bit. So good to see you. How are you? Very, very well. Watching everything. Has Georgie moved? Yeah, she's moved house. house. I can't believe it. She's moved. Also, you've redone your whole Office chat studio. I love the wallpaper. Oh, Do you know my great. producer's a massive fan as well? I, I know the so much money. money. Yeah, sorry, I'm just, <laughs> I know it's crazy. And is Olivia with child? I saw her last night. She's doing four days. She um, still looks amazing. She looks so Georgie runs the whole empire and moves and has yeah. children. She's a force. No, she is a force. I love her relationship with you. I like it too, nice. actually. It's yeah. so <laughs> cheeky. You two haven't got drunk recently. No, I love we it haven't. When you have freebies and she's like, I think on, I've had a baby and she's. Been too busy. You've had a baby. I've had a baby. Congratulations. Wonderful. Taylor Swift and Brenda Nury. Winter is really setting in. Dare I say it, it is beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Well, the fashion editor of Sheer Lux, the wonderful Charlotte Collins, can help us to get ready for the winter. Are you wearing a gilet? It's a tabard. As a matter of fact, it's like a polar neck that has no sides. Amy, we don't know what a tabard is. <laughs> well, I was with Trini last week. She's coming in tomorrow, actually. Is we all connect. She's the queen of the gilet. And I don't think even Trini has discovered the tabard right. yet. The pom pom hat. I saw a couple in Carnaby Street. Is it still around this winter? I think it's time to move on. I understand the function. Actually, there are loads of beanies around, but the pom pom looks specifically be time. To. All you girls in sheer lux, you love your leather or leather look trousers. Mm. Skinnies will always have their place, but this season I say the biggest rule is to buy a tapered pair. I quite like that little house on the prairie look with big boots. Is that going to remain, do you think, for the winter? There's a lot of that sheerling biker, hiker style around out there at the moment. Those are exactly how you make a dress like that really worth your while. You can wear it with the Zara platform heels for a night out, or you add those lace up boots, add a leather jacket or a big teddy bear coat, two lots of wear on that dress. Finally, what are the things that make you win? I'll tell you mine. Fingerless gloves. Not chic. Anything too tight, particularly on the top half. Oversized. If in doubt, go one size up. As Rich is here, your cameraman. Mm -hmm. I do my outfit of the day, Rich. This is a London designer Ooh. called Deploy. These are lined, Charlotte. I'm showing oh, my great. ankles. They are so warm. Mm -hmm. Harris Tweed jumpsuit, basically, with the um, unpronounceable name Polar Neck <laughs> underneath, with my Stella McCartney. But Zara do a Stella, don't they? Do. Those are iconic. They're the ones, aren't they? Thank you so much. Will you send my love to everyone? Oh, thank you. Now I'm going to try your tabard on. Thank you. <laughs> that was brilliant. Oh. Oh, so much fun. Big hit that time out. Thank God we established what the name was. I love that high neck. neck. Thank you. Oh, yeah. It's on matches. It? It's on matches. It's on matches. So, so who's C by Chloe? C by Chloe. But there's quite a few different ones as well. The story's a bad one. The story's a bad one, yeah. Next time I see you, I know the story. So, oh, oh! 
on the podcast. <laughs> See you, have fun. Bye. Thank you. How did that go? Dude, that was good. Yes. So much fun, right? Honestly, she just makes it so easy because she's just engaged, interested and chatty. So yeah, it's like just having a natural with friend room. You just gotta remember not to interrupt. I'm not very good at that. And she loves fashion as well, so it was great. Where are we going now? We're going to French Connection now and check out what we've got coming up for next season. Let's go. That was a fun oh, walk. That was brisk. Where are we now? We are now on Duke Street. In the heart of London. For the French Connection press day. Particularly good at this time of year for festive party stuff. But this new store, if you didn't know it was French Connection, you'd be like, ooh, what's this cool concept? Store. It's so stylish. They've got a Fernandez and Wells and there, you know, the coffee shop. On top of amazing fashion, they have, I'm going to say it, I think it's the best homeware on the high street. Oh, that's big. Anyway, so we're going to go and have a look at what they've got on offer on their press day, what they've got on offer in store, great homeware, and maybe we'll get coffee. Should we go and see? Go. That's oh. cool, you know. It's a bit black at this time of year. You a fan it? of winter whites? Yeah, I'm quite messy. So winter whites are not always best for me, but Georgie looks excellent at winter whites. She's very good at winter whites. I agree, I concur. Hi, Hi. Hi. how are you? How's it going? Yeah, good. How are you? Should we go downstairs? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, this is kind of our beginning of spring, yeah. Parisian nights kind of feel. Hayley Prince in here, which is like as seen on the jump. You guys are very good at the boho face. We've got like new stars Oh, I love so that you've shape. got like, new prints and accessories. We've actually like marked up things with what people are like loving. Um, That's clever. Kind of wild card. Everyone's obviously loving the white super. So are people voting. Yeah. I want you to get yeah, some coins. Yeah, I'd like to play, please. Yeah, well, let me get you some. So what's what's the deal with the little coins? Like love and your wild card. And we're getting pressed to mark it up for our buyers. They love to know the feedback. So we're gonna get some coins. Let's go get some coins. What yeah. colour should we use wild card? I'm gonna say it's red because I'm gonna wear this, but I think this is sick. So what colour is what? Are you ready to play? Like, like love, wild card. card. I know it's early days, and I'm gonna put a wild card on the metallic. I actually think this is so cute. Like an Alexa Chung denim dress. How cool would that be with like little black bike boots? I also think the jeans are really cool. I don't think they go in quite enough at the bottom. Let me do this. I you roll think, them I think, up. I think they'll benefit from this, styling wise. They'll thank me later. These trousers, I think, will be very, very useful. These are amazing. They are very, very cool. Very Bottega. For spring, summer, all of our bags are made out of recycled leather. That's, That's a really lovely tie dye. The yeah. colors in particular are gorgeous. And this is the third season yes. for bridal. More and more. For wedding, they want a second dress. I wore a suit. Most of all. Really Smart simple. That is. So simple. Love that necktie. Yeah. So we had a full look at everything launching for spring, summer. Now it's time to play the game. Like, love, wildcard. What did you like? Let's find out. I love these. So I like this bag. It's a real nod to that Bottega trend. Very yeah. cheap. That's sick. But that's one I have in white. Definitely gets a like. Not very sheer likes, but very fair love the hoodie, which I like as well. If you don't like your bath, nice and long back. I'm gonna give a love to the white trainers. Ooh, I think that's me done. What are we gonna do now? Head back upstairs and have a look at some of the current collections. French collection actually do some of the best party wear on the high street. You clocked this as we walked in. Right. Some strictly party wears. That is cool. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Do you know who would love this? Who? Lisa. Lisa. Very would love Lisa PZ. Oh. What's the price point? 165 pounds. Not bad. High street faux used to be rubbish, and these days is absolutely amazing. Great job. If you are a bit more straight up and down, and that is amazing. Probably not quite right over the tab. Oh, it's like walking into a suit over here. Where are we now? This is our new collection. What are the hero pieces? Sustainable wood. A lot of the products you see here are all mango. Oh. Small bowl, hand carved mandala pizza tray, the screen, even those stools down there. That's mango. This is the piece de resistance. Oh, fabulous oh, day bed. Exclusive print. 95 for a large and 65 for a small. Is that right? Gosh, yeah. that's really good. And they come framed like that. Yep. New range of rugs. Um, that one's made us recycled plastic bottles. Yeah. How did that go? Good. French Connection, as I promised you have great party wear, great home wear, and things are looking bright for spring summer. And this store is seriously beautiful. A lovely shopping experience. So get down to French Collection Duke Street. Bye, Rich. Good morning, Luha. How are you? Good, thanks, Rich. How are you? Very well. What's going on right now? We are about to do an interview with Barbara and Sharon, founders of Bash. They are running a little bit late. So we're on Regent Street. We thought we might go and do a quick come shopping with me. Where are you thinking? No, Regent Street's got so many good stores. Lush H&M. Stories as cars as are kept last time. Liberty. Today, should we just go have a wander and see what takes our fancy? Let's do it. Oh, it is raining. I don't have a volley. It's really raining. Checking they've got one. Oh, yes, please. We're coming back. Thank you so no much. That's so kind. <gasps> Very what nice. a dream. Thank you, Cafe Royale. Come on, Rich. It's going to work. It's a bit close. All right, so where are we headed? We're on the corner of Air Street and Glasshouse Street now. Yeah, let's go. Let's take a look. Oh, mango. Mango. Should let's we mango? mango? That's cool. You good for party wear, mango? Yeah. Amazing. Very balmain. Very balmain. Oh, Oh, sparkles. Oh, fabulous jumpsuit. It's quite strictly that, isn't it? Oh, hi there, amazing. That. Party pirate, that is. It's cool. Yeah. Oh, I do really want some faux leather pants. Do you like them with the paper bag waist? Yeah, that's cool. Is yeah. that still Chanel esque if it's red? Yeah, yeah. I like that. They're sellers rail. Oh, let's see what they've got. Oh, they're sellers. Velvet blazer. Leather right Satin slip skirt. Again, can't go wrong. They aren't going anywhere, these skirts. That's cool. With that on Christmas Day. What that'd, a nice look. That'd be very nice. Yeah. It'd go very well with a mince pie, that wouldn't it? Even better. With a Christmas press, that looks yeah. nice and cozy. <laughs> Oh, no, it is. Okay. That is nice. The time check, what have we got? We're still alright. Yeah. Got about 45 minutes. Oh, that was so kind. Thank you so much. Oh, cozy. You're going for it. That is fun. I like that. What are you thinking? Yeah, I love it. It's really soft. 
It actually got quite a lot of stuff. That's a lot. I think that's really cool. What do you reckon? It's so nice. Yeah. You love it. But it's like way softer. The one I love, but it's a little bit itchy. And this is an itchy? Yeah, it's really soft. Yeah, I think it's really nice. Oh, hello. Happy? Oh my God. This is like my dream Christmas Eve, casual New Year's Eve outfit. Sat and sweat is just so useful for everyone. And this knit, it's so cute. Glittery shimmer. Off sleeve. So handy. So handy. Look, I've nailed it. We've been in the 13 minutes so far. Time per bargain ratio is very high. New half. What are you wearing now? Velvet tuxedo blazer. Sat in a pearl. Fail safe Christmas outfit. Winter party piece. And then I've got this snazzy. Diamante belt. Oh, it's cool. Yeah. Jazzy. If you were brave, maybe just like that. Oh, it's cool. Very 80s, very bummer. Look. New half, what are you wearing now? Leather, pink bag waist trousers. They're probably a little bit big, but they've got that sort of 80s style that I love. And then, yeah, I've just teamed it with Diamante belt tucked into the knit. Happy days. Yeah, I'm gonna buy three things. Yeah, you're gonna buy them. Yeah. Wait, what have you gone for? Satin midi skirt, spark clean knit. It's blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Bye bye. How did that go? Well, considering I've made three purchases, I'd say pretty successful. What was the hero piece? That black sparkly knit will be incredibly useful this time of year. When you want to look festive and sparkly, but you don't want to make too much effort, understated but festive and cool. Dress it up with the satin skirt, wear it with like washed denim in the office, with a cool bell. Really good wearing all those things. Lou, where are we going now? We're going to interview founders of Bash. We're called Barbara and Sharon. Yeah, I'm really excited to meet them. I'm such a huge fan of Bash. We've actually got our Bash event on Thursday. What do Bash do really well? Off duty, relaxed, casual, everyday pieces that you can wear day in, day out. Got that cool French girl vibe, not too in your face, quite relatable, and it's just cool. This is the Tudor. Oh my god. I love all this panelling. I love to do a shoe pitch. This is a proper suite, isn't it? I've always wanted to have one of these. Mm. Too close. Marble. It's serious marble. Look at those big blocks. That's the shower. Shower, bath, some time. Glorious. And what does it smell like? I'm not very good at this. You do it. I've got no idea. I thought you would know. You've got your walk in wardrobe here. You're on suite over there. There is so much space in here. I can get used to this. Hello. Hello. Hi. Bye bye. So this is the new teddy bag. Launches today. You're both wearing it. Live your brand. Of course. Of course. I love your jacket. You recognise it, right? It's very nice on you. I'm obsessed with the brands. Oh really? I got this. I remember I saw it at the TCS press day, the summer before last, and I remember taking a picture of it. And when it came in, I was like, Oh, it was the best seller. Right? Tried not to stop it. It's just such a cool shape. Oh, but you wear it so nice. much. Okay, so I will put out my teddy. Tell me all about it. So what do you have there? It's the teddy bag. I don't know how you say this in English. No, teddy will have many faces. It's different versions. Different versions. What do you like about it? Everything. Everything. The leather, the color. This one, which is very fashionable at the yeah. time we have the shoes or so I put everything big hype about bash boots everyone loves bash boots oh and shoe oh yeah, yeah you know that my favourites are the black with like the leather fold over trim yeah. we are best friends from childhood passed the final exam together same school then we never split anymore at the same time we already married we had children and then one day when we got bored of bringing the kids at the park you know we say oh, we should do something together now Barbara and Sharon what are you wearing today bash all bash so that's the teddy bash all over that we have for two season two Is Bas yeah, yeah. I love you have the belt bash, a dress, okay, and uh, boots bash. Everything bash. Everything is bash. <laughs> it's bash too. Yeah. I love this one because it's a sport cool, and yeah. at the same time there is something a little yeah. higher. I love this blues because it's a little romantic, and I am a little romantic. <laughs> I love this jean; it's a perfect uh, shape, and the boots is my favorite. It's very easy to wear. We decide to open a brand to do our ideal armory. We get from what we would wear when yeah. we go to work, get the keys, mm -hmm. go out at night. All the moment of Woman. What is your favorite thing about what you do? We work together. Uh -huh. It's all of our friends. Bash is a real nice team. A fair price, good quality. 16 years ago, there was nothing in the market similar to dust. Not yeah. much. Very luxury brands, very mass market brands. And in the middle was not much. That's how we decided to create Bash. I say hello, you guys say hello. I'm Barbara, I'm Sharon. We're the founders of Bash. Okay? Okay. okay. Hello. 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 I'm Barbara. Merda! <laughs> Oh cool, here we go. Hello. Hi, hello. She's Hi. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> and she's Sharon, for sure. It wears all kind of woman, every age, easy brand, fair price, yeah. trendy. A very feminine, easy to wear. Very cool. No, me really. Yeah, you wear it. It's easy to yeah. wear, to mix, and match, and the people who sell bash are very cool too. Yeah. Everything is about cool. And that's the philosophy. We want the clothes to help people to feel happy, yeah. feel good, and that's it. How did that go? That was so good. They are an absolute dream. They're kind of everything I imagined they would be. I love that they're best friends. I love that you can feel there's a real community and family spirit to the brand. You can really tell that they're designing for themselves and for women around them. You know, they aren't thinking about the trends or what the rest of the industry is doing. And that's what makes them so great. So cool, so effortless, so chic, so Parisian. And it's got that je ne sais quoi that everyone wants to emulate.
Jesse's vlogging. <laughs> uh, Rebecca Hull vlogging away. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, Rich. I'm good, how are you? Very well. What were you just doing? Just doing my first bit of the vlog. Got that coming to IGTV on Sherlock soon. It's a day in the life with me. You're having fun so far? I'm having so much fun so far. And I haven't been in central London in ages and it is so festive. Oh. Well, what are we doing now? We have come to the Glossier Pop-Up, which has only been open a week. It's running until February. They have actually closed so that we can go and have a 45 minute preview. I don't think there's a single product from Glossier that I don't like. Should we go in and check it out? Let's go in and check it out. Where should we start, Rich? I don't even know where to begin. What Where's can you see? Start? Talk me through it. The Future Dew New Oil Serum Hybrid. I love, I've actually got this in my makeup bag. It's a really pearly texture. I mix it with foundation or wear it on its own. And then we've got the Balm.coms. This is my favorite shade, the berry. Balms for your lips, but Top tip. I like to use it on my cheeks. Quite pigmented. Birthdaybalm.com 2, which is like a glittery one. This is brand new. A zit stick. You just put it on your zit and it zaps it like a big pen. Oh, there you go. Generation G lipstick. Katie Jane Hughes your Glossier Stretch Concealer. She actually said, she uses it as a foundation. Brilliant shade range as well really important they're so pigmented and bouncy in texture you could easily use that all over your face oh glossier play so glossier play launched last year and basically a fun little sister of glossier and these amazing glitter jelly lisa potter dixon is a big fan of. see how much that blends out so you haven't got the pigment all in one place color play glider stick and this one's my favorite such a bold shape critical mass here where i've put the silver just a little bit in the outer corners it actually almost blends down into an eyeshadow glossier lash lip holly sayers face oh, just poke myself in the eye it's quite fine you're quite blessed in the eyelash department aren't you would you say so tell me again <laughs> we've also got the Signature boy brow. I could talk all day about glossier stuff. This is a brow pen, which is different. It really does add definition and bulk. We should, oh, but the cloud paints. Oh, don't forget the cloud paints. Probably my favorite product from Glossier. My job. This, the colors blend into almost nothing, but just a nod of something. Keeps your skin looking really healthy and plump. Right, should we go to the next room? I could yep. probably fit through that without. I only need to just duck very slightly. Oh, okay. it's like do. a little door for Becky people. We've got the Glossier Lid Star. Soothing Face Mist Rose Water Spray. Oh, it smells rosy. The brilliant invisible shield daily sunscreen. Tray tray exciting. Glossier solution. Heather Steele is a fan of this. I could basically name everybody in the office and their favourite glossier products. Oh. Serums. Best sellers in the range. A priming moisturiser. Rich face cream. Yeah. Oh my god, there's another room. That carpet over there looks like a Rixo dress. It's it just... supposed to be on a Thursday morning. Oh, looking through here as well. There's another room. Check this out. You're joking. This is like every little girl's dream. Look. Look at chimneys. Look at that. So you can come through and you can wave through there. Hi, Peggy. Oh god, Rich, what a morning. What are your three top products? Cloud paints. What colour? Puff. Future Dew, which I've only just discovered. And then number three, I think it's going to be the Glossier Play Colour Slide Stick. The shade is critical mass. But I do also love Candyland. Oh, they've got burgundy. Oh, so that's my top three. Shall I do my vlog really quick? Okay, everybody, we are now in the Glossier Pop-Up. How did that go? Really, really well, Rich. It was so much fun. Everything I was hoping for. And we've got very pretty Glossier bags to take away. So many rooms, so much to it. A tiny door just for me. Had the best time. Get down there, stock up on all your bits. Make sure you take everything in. Hello. Good morning, Georgie Courage Cole. How are you? All right, thanks. What's happening today? It's a show day. And what's happening on the show? It is things we love. And what do you love? I love this book. I'm going to be brief on this book, but I love it so much. I feel like I'm talking about it again on the show. I love these sweaty Betty high shine. High shine. Leggings. A sweaty Betty leggings really, really do hold you in. There's some really, really expensive leggings like Silu. And they are amazing. Put those on. You feel more toned than you are, basically. 60 quid. They are worth the extra. 25 quid. They last really well, too. My final one is. Oh, something else has gone in. Ooh, so cheeky. they sent me this yesterday in the size that was too small for me, and now they've sent it in a bigger size. I just love this. I'm going to wear this to a Christmas party. Where's it from? It's from Paloma Blue. It's part of their resort wear collection. White with a bit of gold lame, which I think makes it quite seasonless. So I really, really love this. And what else have you got on your desk? Okay, something else in the back. A sneaky Paloma which Blue. Which is lovely because their collection. Oh, hello. Oh, pretty. That is lovely. Oh, I just love that over a bikini. We're in like a beach club for lunch or something in the summer. And there's one more thing. What else have you got? Oh, those are nice. Silk trees. Love. You are sorted for your trip to Mystique now. Nice. I know. Well, small detail. Uh, Paying for the trip to Mystique, but anyway, oh look, there's something else. All such lovely silks. Eye mask? Oh my god, it fits me perfectly. I'm gonna ruin up my tonguing. We're talking about tonguing on the show. Do you know what I sleep with? An eye mask. And yeah, earplugs. Earplugs. The best. Oh look, Sherlock's employee number 13 with the Zara blouse. Yeah. It's made for her, really, wasn't it? You're wearing the Sherlock's uniform. If you told me it was from your granny's wardrobe, I'd believe you. 20 quid from Zara. 
Such a good ear, isn't it? Heather, what are you up to? I'm making a coffee. What are the things you're loving this week? Ooh, Ooh ketchup. Tom Carriage's Gherkin Ketchup. Yeah. Hamper Tour, you can now do it at Borough Market. Yeah. And then the third thing. Oh, I know. The app, Dice. A gig booking app. What are you loving this week? I'm loving. Oh, you've got the mango jumper on. I look at my boots. Oh, sparkle um, time. Yeah, one of them is my mango jumper. Of course, yeah. Overnight facial skin assist from Sarah Chapman. Final thing is this. You put it on your milk top and then you pour it. So you don't have to take your lid on and off your milk all the time. And that's it. What are you loving this week? French Vogue. The new Urban Decay Naked that Eyeshadow Palette. That is amazing. Palette. So cool. You're a fan? Yeah. And 14 Hills Restaurant. Where's that? Fenchurch Street. Got pergolas inside and over 100 trees. What are yours, Heather? Gherkin How's the show going to run today? Things we love in the first segment. The second segment will be Lisa showing you how to curl your hair with GHD. The last segment is with Galley Bird. Calorie free tonic. Caesar from the Courtyard Fulham showing us how to make some delicious cocktails. Hail Caesar. Hello. How you doing, pal? Very okay. good, very good. What are we doing today? Two cocktails based on this tonic water. What's cocktail number one? Gin, basil, raspberries, Galley Bird tonic. The second one is cucumber, lime juice, rosemary spray, guess God. Two takes on the gin and tonic. Yes. Rich, have you seen the green ketchup? I have seen the green ketchup. I've got a lot to say about green ketchup. Gherkin ketchup. It sounds oh. excellent until you see it. Green ketchup, yes or no? no. Green ketchup, yes or no? Definitely no. Cesare, yeah, green ketchup. Yes or no? Cesare. Cesare. It's the best accent, isn't it? Ketchup of course. Of, of course. course. Faniente. Hello. <laughs> You're really good at it. <laughs> I know. I know. Vianetta. Pavarotti. All right, Rick. Okay. Mi dispiace. Hello, and welcome to the Sherlock Show. That Friday is slightly bringing me out in a oh, hot sweat. Okay. It's not the most expensive. No, that I think is 56. 14 Hills Restaurant. We teamed up with Lisa and GHD to create a video with every tip and trick you need getting it right at home, so it out. So we've now got a while. How long have we got? We've got 10 minutes, what and we then we're do? on. Okay. What are we gonna do? Conversation topics, go, go, go. Gerard, guess the film, really? guess the film. Oh, you're doing it, all right. Uh, Titanic. Wait, what was it? Titanic. Oh, Titanic. What are we doing films? Sherrod's films. Why can't I think of any films? Louis, have you done one? <laughs> no, really quickly think of one, okay. Three words, first word, the. Third Second, word. Third word. Hat. Crown. The crown, the hollow crown. Hat. Head. Uh, hat, head. What? Queen? The Queen. King. The, That's the film. King. The Lion King. King's. Oh. Akuna Matata. <laughs> you got one. This is the Christmas edition film. Uh, Arrow. Uh, Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Well done. Perfect. Tati. Um, okay. Film. Well, the whole thing. Can I just like enact a scene? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go knock knock. John Lewis Christmas Act. Oh no 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 no. no. It's I Love Actually. Yeah. Did you get that? I love Actually. Very well done. My, you've got one. You love Christmas. Oh, God. Go go go. Come on. Okay okay. Yeah. Oh my God. Four words. <laughs> film. <laughs> I counted one by accident, two words. The. the. First word, the. Shawshank Redemption. Second word. Okay, that's not a good one. Fourth word. Tree. Tree. Green. Christmas. Christmas. Grinch, soul, Christmas. There's something. Four Second word. Second word. What? You can't open your mouth! The world sleep. sleep. Night. No. The night before Christmas. Is that a film, the night before Christmas? Is it? I can't remember it. Yeah, definitely. I've got one. A film. Whip. Oh. 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 You're supposed to get that straight away. Oh my god. What is it? Uh, Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones. Oh, whip. The whip. Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Harry Potter. Now, if like me, you're partial to a G and T, then you'll know the tonic you use it really matters. Uh, Pulse, what have you got there? I found some bash boots in the charity shop over the road. I mean, I don't know how much they are for full price. Hundreds. Four fifty. And they're thirty-five pounds in the charity shop. This close to buying them. these ones. They're amazing, like mint condition. No, I need to exercise self-control. Charlotte, on the other hand, they were show about self-control. <laughs> Let's go get them. Yeah, hundred percent. I want them. Let's go. It's a bash week. Oh, it's a bash week. It's a sign. I'm really not feeling very well. I need something to perk me up. It's Black Friday. Retail Ooh. therapy. <laughs> Are you ready to so, embrace some sustainable fashion? Yeah, 100%. A, amazing to be able to buy something secondhand like that. B, I've loved those boots for so long. Lou got them off the back of our shoot in Paris because she wore them in that outfit. But just like £400 on a pair of boots that I didn't really need. It's a lot of money. £35 on a £400 pair of boots. Boom. I imagine someone's got them on so I'm just somebody here. Polly, it's Polly. That would be Gusty. a tragedy. Yes. They're here, they're here. We've seen them. Look, they are in such good condition as well. I think Georgia actually has them in black. Should I sit one on? Hello. Well, I've heard about these boots, so yeah. I came running. Yeah. They're just such a good boot, aren't they? They're Amazing. They're very stylish. They're very stylish. That's 35 pounds. Think of oh, myself a bargain. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. No-brainer. You get a lot of stuff, you know. Yeah. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen. Because really? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. We went all the way to Chelsea to do a charity. Should we come in here next time? Next time. Yeah. Next time. Thank you very much. Really? Happy customer. Thank Bye. you. Bye. What a win, Rich. Where are we going now? We are on our way to the Bash store in Covent Garden because we're doing a shopping event. And how's the event going to run? Lou, Georgie and I are going to make our picks from their latest collection. Georgie's going to half interview Lou and I about it, half have a conversation about our favourite picks this season and why we love Bash. And in 
particular, our new Teddy handbag. Sam, are you a Bash fan? I love Bash, yeah. It's not too trend led. Fashion forward, it's, it's just good quality. Classic. classic. Lasting pieces. I'm really excited to try on just a lot of the new collection. My Bash wish list is pretty long right now. Looking forward to having a good old try on. What are we doing now? Well, I'm just going to pick out what we're going to wear. We'll get changed and then we can start doing our edits. So, this I really love. That's in white. I love this so much. Really cool party dress like Sarah. Oh, so cozy. There's that jacket, Charlotte. Mm. Oh, so cool. You feeling that one? I think we'll do one of these. Which one? Yeah. Black or white? No, we'll try them both on. What do we think? I like the black. I like the black. I like this. Do you like it more or less than your baguette? I like everything else in the baguette right now. <laughs> Jeremy, are you going to get changed as well? Yes. What are you going to go for? I want a dress. You're a dress kind of girl. I am a dress kind of girl. So. I'm going to be one upstairs that I quite like. Can you come with me? What are you going to wear, Bells? I really like this denim jumpsuit. Is that the one? Oh, I saw Lucy Williams in that and that looked I've seen a lot of I think you could look amazing in that dress. Go for it. I feel like in black, which is more me because it's safer. I'm like a plain kind of girl. I like stuff like that. That's your one! You've got to try that one. Yeah, totally, yeah. Charlotte Lake, Collins, what are you wearing now? Put this blazer on, what do you think? I like it. Foxy. Foxy, Lou. Cool. Am I going to die of heat if I do that? Probably, I right? I think it'll be so hot. Maybe. What's just in it, like? Boring. Are you going for it? Ah, yes. Sam, I'm obsessed with that dress. The red is amazing. Try the red. Wee. Charlotte, what are you wearing now? Camel jumper and splash cream jacket. I look a bit like I'm going skiing at Prey. I'm not sure I really care. It's quite comfortable. Oh, I like that. So nice. That is cool. That would look better in the big. I love that. Too casual. Really what do you think? Yeah, I love that. Are you being influenced? <laughs> I'm always influenced by the girls. And Sam, go try on the red. I'm I mean, going to try on the red. Good luck. See you in a minute. Charlotte Lake Collins, what are you wearing now? So this is actually completely unexpected. I didn't think I would go for anything like this, but I've ended up in this amazing fidget cardigan, which I've dressed up with my new bash boots. That's some never skinnies and a white tee. Happy? Yeah, happy. <laughs> Oh, oh hello! It suits you perfectly. All you need now is just own it. So good, I love it. I don't normally wear red, so... Guys, what are we doing now? Our edit of things to talk about. What have you got so far? Two coats, a blazer. Oh my god, it's so hot. I love it. But I think it's just something to talk about. You can say it is short, but... Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's just good. How many pieces do you need? Yeah, 15. Yeah. How many have you got? Not far off. It's a nice shape. Yeah, I love that. Hi, oh, oh, nice to see you. How are you doing? Good, are you? Good. Excited for this evening. Okay, they picked their teeth. Look at you! Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Cool, very festive. They're amazing. Oh, nice shoes. Oh, oh yeah, oh, the teddy. The teddy. Oh, it's so nice. I haven't seen it in the flesh. Oh, it's such a good size, isn't it? Oh, and that yeah, one too. And that color. It's got many different oh, faces. Edit done. Still that. getting down. Do you think we should group it and be like, right, out of Yeah, that's yeah, where. Oh, we don't need that. Yeah. Right. So we've only got one top. Okay, that's all. I think we need one more kind of blouse. Maybe just that. Edit's done. Edit's done. Uh, Georgie, have you decided what you're going to wear? So, yeah. We're running out of time. We're running out of time, quick. That's cute. Could I try this? Did you say you don't have a black? Because it's quite see-through. But I have exactly the same one in a black, not see-through. I'm obviously cream, but I just don't think I can wear the same as I think that'll look a bit weird. You snooze, you lose. I feel like I should be putting right. That'll be fun for behind the scenes if you want to do that. This is my bloody party. Also, absolutely love this. That was at the TCS press day. Is that in the edit? No, that isn't. Definitely should be. Charlotte and Lou, can we just quickly whiz around what we've yeah. got? Then I need to try some stuff on. Can we get one to put on the rail as yep. well? This is what we've got. Coat, yes. your jacket over a knit, that one. I love a metallic puff. I love it. It's a bit edgy for our audience. Maybe not. It's mostly quite safe. That one's quite nice. Yeah, I, I, I love that. It's, it's so short That's though. Nice. Do you not think that instead of the red? I'm going to try this, but I think we should add this as well. Best of luck. See ya. I'm not wearing a bra, so I thought I was going to wear a jumper. Maybe I'll do this with nothing underneath. Can I have a now? We're letting people in. Let's go. Good evening, ladies. Sorry to interrupt everyone chatting. Welcome to the Bash flagship London store, store number 17 in the UK. Phenomenal. You guys are just flying. It's so exciting to watch your progress. It's so nice to see some familiar faces and meet such a glamorous crowd. Nice to see a sleeveless blazer for winter. I said I was after a metallic puffer. Yeah, they do the classics so, so well. And George, you've actually got this one in denim. Love it. It just gives it a touch of something special without being too much. A couple of my favourite pieces. The shoulders are incredible. Toy to bring this tonight. I decided I didn't have enough fake camera legs. Love it. I think that's enough from us. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you much for having us. What are you going to get? What are you going to get? Very cool. Oh, Georgie was wearing this earlier on. I love it. I literally walked in the shop and I was like, oh, what are you wearing now? It's a bash dress. And what do you like about it? Two things the colour and luster. Where would you wear it? I'd wear it to work, waitrose, school pickup. I don't care. That's the great thing about bash though, isn't it? It makes you feel good, wear it every single day. Don't save anything for best. How was that? Really good. Nice. Really good. What could be better than shopping night out in bash? Such a nice crowd. We met some really cool readers and everyone's. <laughs> Gone home with lots of shopping. Yeah, so lots of shopping. I think big success. Anyway, it's time for a drink. Let's go. See you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.